Hello, welcome to lesson three of Free Code Camp's basic algorithm and scripting section. This is named Check for Palindromes. And it tells us return true if the given string is a palindrome, otherwise, return false. A palindrome is a word or sentence that's spelled the same way both forwards and backwards, ignoring punctuation, case, and spacing. Note, you'll need to remove all non-alphanumeric characters, punctuation, spaces, and symbols, and turn everything lowercase in order to check for palindromes. We'll pass strings with varying formats such as race car, race car, race car, and among others. So they'll also pass strings with special symbols. So let's just get started with this one. So we have a function, palindrome. We want it to return true when whatever parameter is passed in here, whatever string, um, is spelled the same backwards or regular as it is regular. So i backwards is i. So it should return true. But if we were to put something like hello, then it should say false because hello is obviously not the same backwards. So where I would start is I would uh, first lower um, lowercase everything because it tells us here so ignoring punctuation case and spacing so we could do string dot to lowercase I want to say let me see down here yeah to lowercase to lower case so that should automatically convert whatever string we get in into all lowercase second I want to create using regular expression something that holds all the symbols so I would make a variable called symbols and have it contain a regular expression that what would it be we want to get the words I mean the the uppercase W gets all no, I think non numbers and non alphabet. So that would get our symbols. Um, get the symbols. Hmm. I'm gonna say global. So once we get them global, we could on the next one get our string and make it equal um, string dot replace and then we want to replace symbols with no space. So this should replace every time symbols come up with empty, with not a space, but, you know, keep it all together. So then we need to take a, we need to create a new string, a var, call it, I guess, new string, and it should hold string dot split I believe with no no space and then reverse it because it turns it into an array and then we reverse our array and then we join it back again and when we join it again with no space so what this should be doing is it's going to take our string, split it into an array, reverse the array, and then join the array back together with uh, no separation. Uh, so let's see what this... So let's 
So once this is done, we could say here if new string is equal to the triple equal to string, do this return true. And then under this else return false. So this should be there. Return false. Let us see what this does. So underscore is that palindrome? Race car should return true. Let's see. So I think, oh, my symbol variable, this should be backslash. Let me see what this does. So we're still getting. For this under underscore, can say or or underscore. We should get C. So this one is still, that should return true. And what is going on here? Let's see what it returns real quick. This one is returning false to lowercase. Hmm. I wonder what something is not returning. So since it's returning false, I want to see what it's actually. So instead of return false, I'm going to have it return string. And see what exactly. Hmm. So it is removing. Oh, it's not lowering, lower casing everything. So what I'm thinking, oh yes, of course, because we need to save, save the two lowercase into all our string, um, into our string variable. That way it changes it on all these other instances. So now it should work. So pretty much what we're doing is once this is passed in to the parameter, it runs this code. First thing it does is it takes that whatever parameter was brought in and it lo it sets it to lowercase letters. And it sets that as the new value of string. Then, create, then we create, using a regular expression of variable um, symbols, which actually holds all our symbols um, and the underscore. And then we take a, our string and we replace symbols with no space. So we pretty much just bring everything together. And then we have a variable new string and this new string takes um, the old string or, you know, the original string. We split it into an array. We reverse the array and then we join the array all together back into a string and this time with you know no symbols um all lowercase so then when we check through our if statement if new string is equal to string then if they are the same backwards forwards then it should return true otherwise it returns false and this should be it for this Let's see.
be. And it is. <laughs>